who was the outsider this morning, now 6-5 to five on. Both boxers, there's been money for Barrera here. Amir Khan, 7-4 to four to win by knockout. Khan, 13-8 to eight against Khan. You can get 5-2 to two on points, and Barrera, 5-1 to one on points with a draw at 25-1. to one. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the MEN Arena here in the heart of Manchester, England. As Frank Warren, in association with Don King Productions, www.frankwarren.tv and the Queensbury Fight Network, as sponsored by Russian Premier Vodka and Planet Hollywood, present the featured bout of the evening, live and exclusive on Sky Box Office. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the World Boxing Association, the President Gilberto Mendoza, Supervisor Bartolome Torralba, along with the World Boxing Organization, President Francisco Valcarcel, Supervisor Istvan Coco Kovac. Along with the British Boxing Board of Control and the steward in charge is Jeff Bolter. Introducing to you our three judges, scoring our main event from ringside. From England, John Coyle, from Spain, Jose Martinez, and from England, Terry O'Connor. Introducing our third man to the ring, our referee in charge, he'll be giving instructions the, after the introductions from Leeds, England, Dave Paris. All right, fans, here we go. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA International and vacant WBO Intercontinental Lightweight Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, the time has come. Live from Manchester, it's showtime! Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the red corner, a true warrior of the ring. Entering the ring, wearing blue trunks, he weighed in at nine stone, nine pounds, a 135 U.S. pounds. In his remarkable career, he has compiled a record of 65 wins, six losses and one no contest, with 43 wins coming by way of knockout. Having won his first world title at Super Bantamweight in 1995, he defended it 14 times before winning the world titles at both the featherweight and super featherweight divisions. A veteran of an incredible 28 world championship bouts, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the seven-time three-weight category champion of the world known as the baby-faced assassin from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, by way of Mexico City, introducing the one and only Marco Antonio Barrera. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, stands a young man who really needs no introduction on the Shores. Entering the ring wearing red trunks, he weighed in at nine stone, eight pounds, eight ounces, or 134 and one half U.S. pounds. In 2004, he was the British sole representative at the Athens Olympic Games, where he proudly came home with a silver medal. His professional record stands at 19 wins, only one defeat, with 15 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, making the first defense of his title, here is the former WBO Intercontinental Champion and the current and reigning WBA International and Commonwealth Lightweight Champion. Please welcome boxing's bright young sensation from Bolton, England, introducing Amir. Timekeepers at the bell, Gary Brennan and Colin Roberts. Our referee in charge, Dave Paris. I spoke to you both in the dressing room. You know what I expect of you. Shake hands, boys. Come on, shake hands. Good luck to you both. Okay. An audacious 
An inspired gamble by the Khan camp, or is it going to look plain foolhardy in a few minutes' time? We are about to find out. This is the night Khan can catapult himself into the top world level, but what a man in front of him. How much of the old Barrera is left? The man who was in that blazing fist in extravaganza and trilogy with Eric Morales, who destroyed Prince Nassim Hamed and effectively sent him into retirement. Khan, if you need the identification, I'm sure you don't, is in the red trunks, looking for a new style, high-held guard now. Box cool. Keep it at range, don't get in the zone in front of Pereira. Pereira looks to unleash a, a left hook, he knows what Prescott did, he knows about Khan's possibly suspect gym. It's important that Khan boxes to the plan. Yeah, well, I want to see the speed to be in Khan's punching, not in his movement. He can't afford to leap in and out of range here. He has to nurse his way in, speed up plunge, but you can see already how cute and clever Pereira is. He slipped several of the Khan's jabs already, trying to get close where he can do the damage. Good right hand from Khan. Well, Khan has come in with a plan, and you can see he's trying to execute it, and his hands are up quickly as soon as he gets close. Good sense. So up on their feet there. Pereira certainly felt the weight of a left hand. He's only mixed in minor fights, really, up at lightweight. Three-weight world champion, a seven-time world champion, Barrera. But this is his 73rd fight now. Khan cannot get careless. He must keep those gloves up. He must tighten that defence. But look how quickly and how high his hands are coming back after he throws a punch. And that's obviously what they've been working on, getting quick punches out and getting the defences back immediately. Barrera not managing to find the range yet in the opening round. Impressive start from Amir Khan. Using his reach, using his speed. So far, so good, but it's very, very early. And he's a cunning old fox, Marco Antonio Pereira. He'd be quite prepared to wait his time. And you've got to watch those punches. He's hurt him, he's, he's hurt him, and there's a cut as well for Pereira around the forehead. Breakthrough, a Khan. Very dominant early on. Another right hand goes crashing home by Khan. I'm sure that was a clash of heads. I don't think he was hurt by a punch. I think it was a clash of heads he was wincing from. And you can see the damage there. Remember that Pereira was cut in his last fight. A relatively minor cut. The blood now oozing. We think it was a clash of heads. How bad is it? We'll find out. He's under heavy pressure. Khan, let's go, Pereira. Under heavy, heavy fire in this opening round. He's brilliant so far from Amir Khan. Well, if we questions his confidence, we don't question it now. This is a wonderful start, it's a dream start from Amir Khan. He showed here he has it in him to win this fight, but there's work to do yet. They'll work on that cut in Barrera's corner, but he's run into a storm here early on. And looks a bit the worse for wear, Barrera. Thinking heavily, takes another right. Khan was all over him in that opening session, and Barrera's troubled by the cut. He's troubled by that, blinking away the blood. Khan, I think, might have picked up a little nick as well. Yeah, that's what he wins from. I mean, a crown medal. Look at the force in that head flash, but you can see straight away Khan didn't have the bulk of the damage. And shortly after, you can see Barrera moving away from that and wincing. The punch landed too, but it was the head clash, obviously, that shook him there. Khan seems to have a little cut in his left eye, they're working at it at the moment. But the major damage is in Barrera, although it's high in the head, shouldn't have a bearing on the fight, yet you can see Khan there have been worked on. A little nick on the eyelid by the look of it from the same clash of heads, it was it?